Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Now, before we get started on this interview, make sure to follow me on Twitch. If you guys haven't already, Bancho does it better over on Twitch where I post more exclusive content. I really do appreciate you. Cheese Mosas, drop that like and enjoy. How's it going? Nah, bro, I'm good. And you? Just chilling, just chilling. You know what I'm saying? You ready for the little interview, a quick little interview that we got going on? Yeah, bro. Okay, for sure. Well, let's, let me just get uh, right into it. Um, so how was it that you guys uh, initially, if I look over here, because I'm looking at my questions on my computer. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. But how was it that you guys uh, initially uh, met? You know what I'm saying? How is it that you guys, I want to start from the start. How is it that you guys started dating? How is it that you guys met? I met her on Craigslist, bro. Damn. Yeah. Craigslist? For what? I don't know. She was in an ad. She said it was 50% off. I'm like, you know what? Like, <laughs> let me get at her. 50%? You can't beat that. Hey. I'm just playing, bro. I'm just playing. Now, but for real though, how'd you guys actually, how'd you guys actually meet? I met her on, on I met her through mutual, uh, mutual friends, uh -huh. then on Instagram, like both. Okay, so then you slid in the DMs or she slid in the DMs? Honestly. I'm trying to think, hold up. No, I slid on her DMs because she does makeup. Uh -huh. So I think I slid up on her DMs and I was like, hey, I like your eyeshadow. Like, um, like the little makeup that she was doing. So I'm just like, yeah. Okay, okay, smooth, the eyeshadow. Okay, so so what was like the first major thing that ever happened to, like the first major argument that you guys maybe had in your relationship? Like what was the first major fight? Bro, the thing is like me and her barely argued. Like we barely argued like at all. Like we went out for four years uh -huh. and like the three years, it was like perfect, but it was towards like the fourth year, like which is the last year, that it started becoming like bad. Cause I, she started being like, poquito sneaky like she will do stuff that i will be like but then my i'm not a i'm not a toxic or like that and i was like no i'm not gonna tell her nothing about it because like i don't really care yeah yeah because i saw on the 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 alanized thing that she was saying that i think she mentioned that you weren't toxic so i, I will say that she was saying that in the beginning that you weren't toxic but then that it started getting toxic would you say maybe uh, it had to do with maybe all those videos you guys did to where it was like maybe so incorporated in your guys' mind that you guys were doing like these toxic videos where it ended up making you guys actually toxic? No, I don't think it came from that, bro. I think the problem was like, I think it was the friends that she started hanging out with. Uh -huh. Then that she started acting weird. Like, it's como que like every time she'll hang out with her friends, yeah. she'll come back to me and she'll come back home like drunk, like tipsy. And she'll be like, I can't believe you're this way. Because I'm like, what? You go out with your friends and I and I look, listen, I've, I've never been the type of boyfriend that tells her like, hey, I don't want you dressing like this. I don't want you to go out with your friends. I will. I, I will always let her do whatever she wants. Yeah. And the thing is, like, I think the friends that she hung out with will always put stuff in her head. Then she'll come home and she'll want to start and argue with me. I'm like, dude, how do you go out with your friends? And then you come wanting to argue with me. Like, what am I doing to you? Yeah. Damn. OK, so maybe her friends had a, a role to doing this, maybe like putting things in her head. I don't even want to put this out there, bro, but I'm going to put it out there because one of her stupid friends talked yeah. so much crap about me, so I'm going to, like, expose her, too. So one of her friends recently got a divorce, right? Uh -huh. And she used to always hit me and my girl up, like, hey, can you guys take me out because I'm sad, I'm depressed because my husband, like, that he left me. Yeah. Then she used to always tell her, like, girl, why don't you leave Junior and just be single with me? I'm like, what? How are you going to try to make my girl try to be single just because you're over here bored as fuck? Damn. So because her man left her, she wanted the same so that Carla can maybe they could have their yeah, heart summer. Yeah, like it was that it was so bad, dude, that around Valentine's Day, yo le compré una pizza, like, you know, the heart-shaped pizza? Yeah. I send it to her. I'm like, hey, I'm sorry that you're going through como a divorce right now. Like, let me buy you one of those heart-shaped pizzas and like, we'll take you out or something like that. And then like, she was like, I was even sweet to her. So I'm like, I'm like, do the fact that you want to like, be trying to make my girlfriend break up with me. Then yeah. you do that to me. I'm like, bro, I'm like, what the? Damn. Okay. Okay. So then let me, cause I'm, I'm going based cause I watched the Alan I's podcast. So I, I, most of my questions are kind of based off of that. If you want to debunk a lot of these things, uh, if it's true or false, but one of the things that she mentioned was for the whole Chicago trip for your birthday that you, that you guys went to a club, allegedly you guys were both drinking and, uh, that you hit her with your watch cause she didn't know how to drive. What was that about? No dude. 
first of all, she drove because we were both tipsy, right? I told her I felt like throwing up. So she grabbed me and she put me. Okay. I'm private right now. Well, she's calling you private? Okay. I can hear you now. I can hear yeah, you she's calling. I think so somebody's calling me private. Yeah, somebody call me on like private. I think somebody's watching me and they don't want me to talk. That's why they keep calling me on private. I'll show you a screenshot if you want after we get off like the live and stuff. Damn. So basically, like, me, me and her were drunk. I couldn't drive. I feel like throwing up. She grabbed me and put me in the back of the car. And I was like, she kept, then she was driving because she doesn't know how to drive. She was driving like this and she kept stopping and going, stopping and going, stopping and going. And I was like, bro, stop. Like, you're going to make me throw up. And she's like, oh, suck it up if you don't like it you could just buy an uber i'm like what the f like i'm i'm about to throw up dude and you keep stopping going stopping going stopping going she yeah. doesn't even know how to drive i told her get an uber she didn't want to she was being stubborn porque estaba ella también peda. yeah so i told her like i'm like just get an uber she's like no i'll drive i could drive then she drove then the fact that she says that como que le pegue and stuff like that i'm like dude what are you talking about i never even once touched you you me and her got into an, me and her got into an argument porque like she, she like, why can't you say I can't drive, huh? Why can't you say I can't drive? I'm like, bro, because you can't. So, like, that's the thing that just pisses me off because I'm like, dude, why are you making stuff up? Yeah, yeah, because oh, allegedly she said that in the interview that that, well, they, that you hit her supposedly three times and that you were blacked out. So you do re remember everything that happened that night? Yeah, I remember everything, bro. We went to mansion at, like, uh, Chicago. Yeah. It was my, it was my birthday. It was my birthday. When, once we got to the mansion at Chicago, I made a TikTok of como like the the owner from that place. Yeah. He saw me. He's like, "Hey, my wife, my wife or my girlfriend. I don't really remember." He was like, "Oh, she's a big fan of you guys." I'm like, "Oh, thank you." He's like, "Can I get you guys VIP? What are you guys doing here?" I'm like, "It's my birthday today." So then he got us a VIP, and I made a TikTok about it. Como que we're all turning up and stuff like that. Yeah. We, we never once argued. They put us on stage, and we're like taking shots, and we're just on stage where everybody could see us. Yeah. So that's the reason I'm just like, dude, like, why are you making stuff up? But I already know why she's making stuff up. Like, I'll tell you once you answer. Okay, uh, another phone call. Chad, whenever it gets muted, it's because he's getting allegedly a phone call. We don't know who it's from, but he, he is getting a phone call. Okay, I can hear you now. Um, so then the whole thing about hitting her three times and that she was gush. They called me twice. Damn. We might have to have that phone on Do Not Disturb, but... So the whole thing about about she said that that she was gushing in, in the car in the morning that she didn't want to go in the hotel because they were gonna think something of it and she put a face mask on so that wasn't true because she said the next morning that when you woke up that um what she say that, that you supposedly didn't remember anything about her like being beat or, or I, I, I remember everything we still made TikToks come when we were there so I'm like I'm, I'm I was still come showing taking pictures of her and everything so I'm like dude what are you talking about. Okay. Like we we stayed there like an extra day. Come on, we stayed there. Come on, we stayed there. Jen, the thirty first, the first and the second. Uh -huh. So the fact that she says like, oh, like you didn't do that. I'm like, dude, I was taking pictures of you still there. I think the last day we were there, we went to the Bean. You know, in Chicago, there's they they have that big Bean. Yeah. Then we we're gonna go ice skating, but since it was full, they didn't let us like ice skate. So we we're just like, okay, whatever. Yeah. So so then, what would you say happened to her if you do remember? Then because she said that her face was all messed up. What what ended up happening for her face to be, I guess, all messed up? The thing is that when we we're going out the club, yeah. the little cut that she had here, she already had it. Like she posted a video, she posted a video, and one of my followers they sent it to me that she supposedly said that I put my hands on her in 2022, right? Yeah. That's what she said that I did on 2021. Like I think three months before the year was over. Yeah. Se and she busted her lip. I have a video. I could send it to you. It shows a date right there. Yeah. She's grabbing like an ice pack and she's putting it in her mouth. And she's like, guys, look at what happened to me. And that's the that's literally the exact same cut. The little the um what's that called? Como the little bump that she has in her mouth. Yeah. That's the exact same one that she has. Como when she was talking about the video about like supposedly like I hit her and like she had it right here. Yeah. Okay. I have the video. I could I could send it to you. Yeah, yeah. If you, I mean, after this, we could get all that evidence sent to me. Um, so then, what about the whole fight with her dad that you sent him to the ER after supposedly he told you that you didn't know how to treat a woman? So what was that about? Oh, bro, listen to this. I never watched any of the clips that she like. You know that I didn't even know that she was in a podcast till people were tagging me. They kept tagging, tagging me. Yeah. So basically, what happened? Come on, that day that me and her dad got into it. Yeah. Um, her friend. She was getting, she was into a breakup come with her dude. Come on, they were breaking up. 
but we were at a family party. So yeah. then I saw her come on the esquina that she was talking on the phone and she was like crying. So I'm just like, dude, why are you crying for? Her? Then after that, like she was like, oh, it's because my boyfriend broke up with me. I'm like, it's fine. Just here, have a shot. Just come on, relax. Come on. It's not that. Just wait till after the party. Then tomorrow when you see him, you go yeah. kind of try to make stuff better. So then she was crying. She was like, you don't understand, Junior. Like, I'm sad. Like, I can't believe he broke up with me. Our, when she was yelling at me, telling me that, yeah. her dad came into the house because she lives in the apartment. Yeah. She came up to the house and after he was like, hey, why why are you making her cry? I'm like, I'm not making her cry. Her dude just broke up with her. Yeah. Then after that, then, she, then her, her friend was like, hey, I bet that's how Junior treats Carla. So then her dad came up to my face and he was like, hey, is that how you treat my daughter? I'm like, what? This yeah. girl just got broken up with and she's yelling at me. What am I doing bad? I'm just trying to be a good friend. Then he was like, hey, he, he started doing this. And this is, what, this is what Carla didn't even say. He was doing this to me. He's like, hey, go back to your mom's house and tell her to show you how to raise a woman right. And yeah, he pushed like, my face was, like that. Well, he was like touching you. Yeah, he was doing this to me. Uh -huh. Then after I'm like, and I and I told him, I told him, hey, bro, if you don't get your hands off me, I'm going to whoop your ass. Then he's like, give us a sin. Like he said it in Spanish, he's like, give us a sin. So he pushed me like this and I just reacted and I just punched him. Cause, but the thing is, like, she doesn't say that. She supposedly said that. Oh, he he looked at him. He was like, "Hey, go back to your mom's house." I'm like, "Dude, tell him how he was touching me." Yeah. I'm like, "He was touching me like that." Like, why? I liked her dad, and I always made videos with her dad. So why would I approach him? He yeah. was the one that was drunk, and he came up to me. He was doing this to me, and I even said that in the YouTube video. Yeah. Damn. Okay. So then that's when uh, her family ended up jump. So after that happened, then her whole family jumped you. Yeah. So then after come on, like, since he pushed my face and I punched them. Huh. He like fell. Then after that, like her mom and her tia came in and they saw her dad in the ground. He's like, oh my God, what's going on? Then her deals came behind them. Then after that, her mom's like, hey, le, pe le pegaron a mi esposo. Like her mom said that about her dad. Yeah. Then her uncles and everybody started attacking me. And I just started blocking. I just started punching whoever was getting close to me. Yeah. Which is, I think that's self-defense. Her dad was touching me and I, and I punched him back. I'm like, dude, why are you touching me? Then yeah. you're talking about my mom, like telling her to raise me right when... That didn't even have to do nothing with what was going on. But since he was drunk, then her her whole family was jumping me. Then the neighbors called the cops. Then when they called the cops, the cops came up and they told they told me, hey, what happened? And I told him, like, what do you want to do? Like, what do you want to do? Because it was like six of them that jumped me. It was like her dad, her uncle, her cousin. Her mom and her tia were just pushing me like that. They weren't gonna hitting me. They were just pushing me. Oh, the the tia's got involved, damn. Yeah, like her tia and them, they were just pushing me to try like that. I'm like, dude, everybody's attacking me and I'm just in the, like, I was leaving the apartment. Cause you know, in the apartment and stuff, it's like skin, it's like a skinny hallway. Yeah. I was just blocking myself and I was just punching at her uncles and her cousins like that. So then when I was like already leaving close by the exit, like almost one of the neighbors like separated it. Yeah. And I went downstairs and they called the cops and the cops were downstairs. And they told me, hey, what you want to do? Do you want to press charges? Do you what, what, what do you want to do? Because they call us, come you got into a fight. Then, like, when, when I told the cop, I'm like, um, I didn't know what to do because they were just like me by myself. It, nobody was there. Carla wasn't even next to me at all. They were all upstairs. Then her um, her mom and her dia and Carla came downstairs and they were crying. They're like, Junior, why would you guys get into a fight? Then I told them, like, I'm like, hey, the cops telling me to press charges on your family because everybody jumped me. Then they're like, no, don't press charges because, like, we're not from here. My husband and my brother, like, um, not my brother, but, like, the deal and stuff. Yeah. They could get in trouble with the law. I'm like, well, they jumped me. So what the fuck do you want me to do? And they're like, just don't do it. Then Carla was like, hey, I'm going to go with you. And then her family got mad at her. So that's basically what happened with that. Oh, because, yeah, she did mention that she ended up, her family kind of basically maybe disowned her because she decided to go with you, huh? Yeah, because, like, then, the, the, then... I saw this little clip too, where supposedly she said, "Come okay, my mom was trying to deport her." My yeah. mom never even said none of that. The next day, I got home because my mom works like in the morning, like at six a.m. Yeah. I think I got home like at three or four in the morning, come with her. Yeah. Then when she got out of work, my mom saw me and she saw that I had scratches right here. I had scratches come on my ear and like on my, my lip and stuff come on from fighting. Yeah. She looked at Carla. And she was like, "Hey." Why did like what happened? Then we told her basically come okay, her family jumped me. Then she's like she looked at Carla and she's like, Hey, why would you let your family jump my son? She, and Carla was like, Hey, I was trying to defend it, but everybody was getting into it and I couldn't really stop it. Okay, yeah. obviously Carla's like small and stuff. So then after like then my mom told me, like, hey, did, did you guys call the cops or what happened? I'm like, Yeah, I called the cops. Like the, the neighbors called the cops. 
then once that happened, my mom's like, hey, so what are you going to do? I'm like, they told me if I want to press charges. So once I then my mom's like, hey, you know, if my son presses charges, your, your family's going to get in trouble because they're not from here. Yeah. Then, that's, then Carla switched it up and told somebody on the internet, like, oh, her mom wants to deport me. I'm like, what? What? My mom didn't even say that. She just said, come okay, your family could get in trouble if I press charges. Yeah. So I'm like, what? Like, why are you, why are you trying to make everything sound good come on, for you, but everything sound bad for me? Like, what? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah, yeah. I did see that part, part in the video where she said that, that your mom said that. So how was your relationship with her parents then? Was it always bad? Because I think you just mentioned that with the dad, it was a good relationship. For the first... The first year I met them, uh -huh. when I met them, they hated me. And the reason they hated me, because Carla and her family, they didn't even get along for at all. Yeah. Once I went out with Carla for like, I think three to four months, her uh, she moved in with me, but her family didn't like mess with her like that. Yeah. I don't know why they kicked her out, but she would always call me crying like, hey, my parents like are yelling at me. They're telling me they want me to do this. They want me to do that. And they used, she used to always call me crying. Yeah. So she moved in with me and when she moved in with me, her parents will always message me on Facebook, like bad things like it is stupido, me quitates a mi hija and all this stuff. I'm like, what? Damn. Like they will talk crap to me like on Facebook. I'm like, I'm like, what what am I doing wrong? Like I just took your daughter. I didn't take her. Come when she moved in with me, and then you guys are yelling at me, but you guys didn't even like her at the house. So why are you getting mad at me? So she kind of already had a problem with them, and then and then she had, a, she had a problem with them. That's why three or four months after we knew each other, like we went out, she moved in with me right away. And my dad didn't want me to move. My dad didn't want her to move in because he's like, "Hey, if that girl has problems with her family, yeah. her family might want to come to our house and start some problems, and I don't want that." Yeah. Damn. Okay. But so she doesn't even she doesn't even say she doesn't even say that part of the story. So I'm just like, dude, tell people exactly what happened. Yeah. Okay. So you're basically saying she's missing a lot of pieces. So then what about the whole, I, I'm pretty sure maybe you saw, you got tagged in it. What about the whole YouTube video she posted on Facebook? I think like two days ago where supposedly you like elbowed her or something. Did you see that video? Yeah, I saw that video, bro. That was an accident. Cause if you watch the video, if you look at my nose ring before yeah. that clip, she hit me come on like this. And I looked at her, I'm like, babe, why would you do that? And she was laughing about it. Yeah. Like if you watch that video, watch the video. I'm like bleeding from my nose right here and my nose ring. So I'm like, I'm like, babe, why would you do that? And she's over here like, eh, 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 eh. and she was trying to grab me again. So I'm like, I'm like, I don't know if she's trying to put her hands on me again. She didn't put her hands on me. Como, it's not como que me so like this. Yeah. She basically was doing messing around and she hit me como like como with her arm like this. Then I started bleeding from my nose. So then when she tried grabbing me again, I was like, hey, get off me. And obviously como like, I sorry, como que she got close to me. I wasn't trying to do that. I literally said, I people were saying like, Oh, you didn't apologize. I'm like, bro, I apologized to her after that clip, but she's not even putting the rest of it. I just moved my arm like, hey, don't touch me because yeah. I don't want to be touched. Like you already made me bleed from my nose. So I don't know if she was messing around. She's like, hey, that's fine. Like whatever. Like, wh like I just didn't want her to touch me. Oh, okay. So but people were saying, it was people were saying, oh my God, he elbowed her. Like if I purposely did this, I'm like, bro, I didn't even do that. I yeah. moved my arm like, hey, get away from me. Don't touch me. Okay. If so, she didn't want me to touch me, if she didn't want me to touch her and she did this and accidentally hit me, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, you just put your hands on me. Why would I say that if it was an accident? Yeah. Okay. So then there's another portion. I think, I don't know. If, I think this was on the Facebook post that, that you put your hands in, in the apartment on her because you don't want her friends to sleep over or something like that. She mentioned. I never put my hands on her once, bro. I'm going to just clear that over now. I never once put my... The thing about her, her friend, she wanted to bring guys over one to two months after we moved into the apartment. She yeah. got drunk and she's like, hey, is it fine if I bring somebody? And it, it was like two o'clock. I'm like, dude, why are you going to try to bring somebody over to the apartment? Like if this is some type of hotel, is that bad for me saying, come okay, I don't want you to bring somebody over? Huh. Come on, we just, we, just, we just moved in. I didn't want her to bring a random guy. Imagine if like when we're sleeping because we're drunk, that dude's over here stealing and we don't even see that. And I don't even know the dude. Okay, so for safety issues. So then would you say, because in the video kind of made it seem like she kept mentioning this, would you say that alcohol played a big part in this, that like you, the alcohol was an issue? Because I was also reading comments that she allegedly drank a lot too. Were you guys on the same page of drinking or what would you say about the, the alcohol? The problem about her, dude, like, I don't know. If, I, the problem about her is that ella le gustaba tomar mucha, um, what's it called? The Trulies. Oh, okay. She used to like drink a lot of Trulies. Then she used to bump to a lot of sad music. Yeah. 
Como, like, you know, that, the music that makes you como kind of be in your feelings type stuff. Yeah. Como, like, the Hispanic music that como, like, como makes you kind of go in your feelings. And she used to do that, and then she used to tear up. I'm like, why are you tearing up? Huh. Then she's like, oh, it's because it's like, I like this song. But I'm like, I'm like, dude, you could talk to me about it. Like, you don't have to keep it a secret. And yeah. she's just like, oh, it's because she would just think about stuff. I don't know exactly what she would think about, but she would just kind of go on her feelings like that. I, I, I drink too. Like, I'm not going to lie and be like, oh, you know, Domo, like I do drink. Yeah. But the thing is like her, she was more, uh, more the, when she drinks, she got her feelings type yeah. stuff. Damn. Okay. Um, so there is a video she posted that where she was saying that, or where you said that, that you only want me for the papers. Do you think that she was using you to get papers at, at some point or what was that about? I said that, bro. I saw that clip too. Yeah. All that stuff I've been getting tagged in like this whole week. But okay, I just come, I kept, keep seeing like everybody. Yeah. The thing about her, when I went out with her, she used to always say like, I don't know if her ex boyfriend did her so bogus, but before she went out with me, yeah. She went out with this guy for five years, and he used to like legit put her hands on her. She was sh she was show me videos of como like him yelling at her and all that stuff. Como like everything. Como she's like, oh, he pushed me down the stairs and everything. So when I went out with her. She will always use the before that clip, you know, the one that you were talking about. Yeah. She was like, what are you going to put your hands on me? Like the way my ex did. I'm like, what? And she will always say stuff like that to me. So I, I got mad and I was like, dude, what the hell? I'm like, and I said, like, I'm like, eres una pendeja, no más quieres papeles. Cause she will always say like, if she wanted to trigger me, I'm like, dude, why are you saying that to me? Yeah. I'm like th then her parents before that, before all this thing happened, she they used to always say, hey, why don't you just try to press charge on your ex-boyfriend? But he's the one that put his hands on you. Yeah. So then how is it como que now she uses that against me? She's like, oh, you want to put your hands on me like my ex-boyfriend did? I'm like, why are you using your ex-boyfriend against me? Like me and him are two different people. Damn. Like imagine you going out with somebody, bro. Then automatically they just tell you straight up como like, oh, well, my ex-boyfriend cheated on me. So I can't, I don't have trust issues. Oh, he put his hands on me. So I feel like you're going to put your hands on me. Why are you telling me that? I'm a I'm a totally different person. I'm not even nothing like him. So come on, why are you saying that? So how how long was it that she broke up with the 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 ex that she got with you? Did she two months, bro? Two months. Oh, so she didn't have enough healing time. Maybe it could be exactly, bro. That's what I told everyone from the beginning. She went out with this guy for five years. Huh. I, I met her in I met her in a birthday in October. Her birthday was October sixth. Yeah. That her ex boyfriend was at the party, dude. Damn. Yeah, with me, well, I was there too, but obviously I wasn't going out with her. I just, I, I that was the first week I met her. Yeah. Okay, so then her mom put on a canción. Then me and me and Carla started dancing. Then in the background, like in the background, everybody kept talking about her ex that he just grabbed the door, and he smacked it, and he just like left. Then he was messaging her like, "Hey, I can't believe you're dancing with that kid Junior and all this stuff." He puts, I'm like, what? Yeah. Then two months after that, I think she started catching feelings and she was like, hey, we should go out. And I'm like, bro, I can't go out with you. You're in your, you're in your healing process. Like, I can't go out with a girl yeah. that just went out with a guy for five years. Why do you want to go out with me that quick? And she's like, I just don't want I just don't want to get played like the way my ex did. And I told her, I'm like, hey, I can't ask you out right now. You're not ready to go out like me. Before I went out with her, I was single for three years, bro, because I just know the process of like your I just know the process of healing your heart, bro. You have to do stuff for yourself. Yeah. Did you see the clip where she said, she mentioned that her ex was saying like, why is he even mentioning me? Did you see that clip? Yeah, it's because I think he, he doesn't want to get in trouble, bro, because he was the one that was doing that to her, not me. Oh, okay. okay. That's what he's saying there, bro, because like he doesn't want to get in trouble. Come on, he's, a, he's probably like, bro, he, this boy is exposing me. Yeah, okay. So then what was like the final straw? Like what made it go public and then for you guys to move out? Like what, what was the final straw? The final straw, bro? Okay, so on Christmas, right? That's when I asked her out like four years ago. It was going to be her five-year anniversary. She chose to be with her friends, wanted to get, wanted to get fucked up on my drinking and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you're supposed to be spending time with me. Come on, why do you want to go chill with your friends? And she's like, I'm going to go chill with my family. Then the next day I'll spend time with you. I'm like, okay, fine. The next day she went to chill with her friend. She she didn't even want to spend time with me. She went to go to her friend's house and get fucked up. I'm like, oh my God, bro. Like, you don't even want to chill with me. Yeah. She went to her friend's house. And I will even tell you what bottle she bought because I saw when she bought it. She bought that blue one that's called um Milagros, I think. Oh, okay, okay. Como that tall skinny one. Yeah. I still remember, bro, because I'm telling you, it recently just happened and I just know. 
she went to get get messed up with her friend. Then I was drinking with my brother and his girlfriend, and they don't like each other. Como they don't like each other at all. Como you know sometimes girls don't like each other and stuff. Yeah. She was messaging me, and I I have the messages. I could send them to you too, so you could kind of see. She's like, "Why are you drinking with that bitch?" Excuse my language. I'm not. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop going with Chris. She's like, "Why are you drinking with her?" I'm like, "You make it seem like this is my girl. That's my brother's girl." Yeah. But the reason she didn't want me drinking with her because that my brother's girl knew stuff about her that she was doing behind my back. And what would what would that be if you don't mind touching in, in details? What is it that she? <laughs> she was saying that she will, my my ex girlfriend Carla will go out with her friends on girls' night, but yeah. she will invite a guy that she was talking to through, through the DMs. Tell me, hey, me and my girls are about to go out. You want you do you want to link up? And that's why she didn't want me to hang out with her because she was gonna expose her. Okay. Imagine that, bro, around Christmas slash my birthday, because my birthday is January 1st. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, you're doing this around my birthday slash Christmas? I'm like, what? Damn. Okay. So did you end up getting all your things from the apartment? Was there issues for that or no? You got everything out. I got everything, bro. Once okay. once my brother's... I knew stuff about her because I obviously saw it on her phone. Yeah. More like I Basically, what I did is because she every morning she will wake up and post like an Instagram picture, right? When I saw her talking to guys, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep my mouth shut and I'm going to let her tell me. Yeah. So I grabbed her phone and I screenshot I screenshot everything from her phone that she was talking to guys. Then the next day when she was going to post her Instagram pictures, she was next to me and she was like, what the fuck? And I'm like, what? Then she's like, she was acting weird. I'm like, I'm like, oh, you saw the screenshots I took of you talking to guys, right? And she's like. It's not even like that. And that's when I recorded her and I posted it on Instagram. I'm like, let me see your phone. I'm like, let me see your phone. You, you're over here talking to guys. Let me see your phone. She didn't want to let me see her phone because she knew what she did because the screenshots are on her phone. So in the video, so I don't know if you can touch in details what, what the screenshot said, but in the video, she basically said that she was just asking one of her friends for a ride because she didn't want to go with you back home or something. But what were that? What were the actual DMs then? That what would, what would you say the screenshots are? She was talking to a guy and like over here, like telling him, like, hey, can you come pick me up at 2 a.m.? Because I don't want to be with my boyfriend because I'm tired of his ass. He's been trying to argue with me all the time. Basically, make it seem like okay, I was the problem when she was the one that would always yell at me for like stupid stuff. She would, she would tell guys to pick her up like two or three o'clock in the morning when I was like sleeping or like say if I was tipsy or something like that. She would tell or if she was going out with the girls, she'll be messaging guys like, hey, are you trying to link up when I go out with the girls? And like, if I was doing that, bro, if imagine if you were doing, I don't know if you got a girlfriend or not, but if you were doing that, like at two or three o'clock in the morning, what, what do you think will go through a girl's mind or a guy's mind? Like, why are you messaging that guy at two o'clock in the morning to come pick you up? If I message, a, if I message a girl at two a.m., bro, yeah. when my girl's sleeping, it's because I want to ah, get the low key, off. low key. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that, I don't think it's rocket science, bro. Yeah. Okay. So then let me, let me emphasize here. Cause she did say in Alan I's video that supposedly you were at the clubs and you would ask girls for their numbers or snaps. Is that true? No, <laughs> look, I have, I have a friend that he's going to like a club promoter Yeah. at the club that they went. He gave me come on, like, you know, when they give you wristbands, come on like that. Yeah. Some of the wristbands come on to get to a VIP, right? Yeah. He told me, Hey, since you are like a TikToker, come on, everybody knows you. We were in the VIP section, and since the VIP section was semi dead, he's like, "Bro, I'm gonna give you five of these things and go downstairs and hand them out to whoever you want, hand them out." And I'm like, "I'm like, I went downstairs and I was handing them out to people, but then like, come on, like people wanted come on to have three of them or four of them like that." And that's what she's talking about, like, "Oh, he went up to girls." I'm like, "Bro, if if I was getting girl snaps, go tell whoever is watching right now and whoever supposedly I DM or talk to." Tell them to show proof that I talk to them. Guarantee you no girl will ever hit you up or they won't hit her up or she won't screenshot and send you information. But I never talk to girls and I've never told girls like, hey, add me on Snap. Especially if I have a girlfriend. I'm not doing that, bro. My girl, she had the password to my phone. She could easily look through my phone and be like, hey, who the hell is this girl? Who's this girl? I don't think it's hard to look through people's snaps like that. Okay. So she had access to your phone the whole time then, basically. He had access, but I told him, like, hey, I'm going to let you have access to my phone, but I don't want you to do two things. One, I don't want you to just be looking through who I have and just start deleting them without telling me. But I think that's going to, I'm not going to look through your phone and delete. Like, those guys that she was talking to, Yeah. I never even told 
her to delete them. I'm like, hey, if you want to delete them, delete them if you want. But I just caught you. So she deleted them. She deleted them on Facebook, but she kept them on Snap. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh my God, bro. Yeah. Damn. Okay. So then, um, if I can ask this, so what was the whole reasoning that, that you were kind of tearing up when you were at B-Dubs? I don't know if you remember that live that where you kind of like, what was that about? What? I saw that on, on your video. <laughs> what was that, that about? Was, and that was like, bro, you got the caption wrong. So basically that day I, I took like a shot with somebody, like yeah. somebody that was at the bar and I took a shot and I just, I said, Hey, if a girl's ever done you bogus or something like that, yeah. here's a shot for you guys. So I took it. But then I started crying. Okay, my mom recently got from she recently got back from El Salvador because that's where she's from. Yeah. Then right when she got here, dude, like maybe like three days later, her sister passed away, which is my tia. Yeah. Then, then when people were talking to me on live, I was just thinking like, damn, bro, like I can't believe my tia like passed away and I got along with her super good. But then people were making, they were like, bro, he mentioned a little bit of como if a girl did you bogus, take a shot. Then after that, they clipped it and they were just like, this boy's crying over Carla when I was never crying over Carla. I would just come on. The reason people thought that was because I don't know if you remember that you had added this girl and the girl was saying like, oh, it's OK. Like, you know, you don't need her. Move on. Or so, do you remember that girl that joined that live? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's why people assume that it was about Carla because she was basically saying like, you don't need her. Move, move on, blah, blah. And you were just tearing up. Obviously, you didn't yeah. say anything, but. It's because that girl, she, I think she just started talking. She thought, como que, like, I think she just wanted to talk about, like, the whole situation that me and Carla were going through. Yeah. But the thing is, like, in my head, like, I'm like, I'm like, dude, if I was crying about her, like, I think I should, I would just call her. Like, I'm like, ever since me and her broke up, I don't call her at all. Like, I haven't even talked to her for, like, two or three months. Uh -huh. Okay. So, so then let me ask you about this, then. What does your mom think about the whole situation? Because... Bro. I didn't tell my mom when we meet her broke up. Like I didn't tell her, but you know how I told you when she got back from Salvador, she recently got back from like a month ago. Yeah. So I didn't want to, when me and her broke up, she was over there in El Salvador and she was like, tell, like she was talk, messaging me good, como, hey, como sas mijo and everything like that. So I didn't want to tell her like, hey, me and my girl broke up because she actually liked my girl. Like my, well, not my girl, but my ex-girl, they will always make videos together. So that's the reason I, it pisses me off that she's like, oh, your mom didn't like me. I'm like, dude. You used to make videos with her all the time, and my mom didn't like you. She would not even make videos with you at all. Yeah, yeah, because she did mention in the video she was saying that supposedly that your mom was disrespectful to her and stuff like that. So that's no, not true. The thing is, like, my mom always treated her nice. But the thing is, like, the thing that Carla used to get mad about is like sometimes my mom would get out of a twelve-hour shift because uh -huh. she works at like, some place where they make tortillas and stuff. Yeah, and she will be like, "Man, your mom doesn't want to make videos with me." I'm like, "Bro, she just got out of work." You can't force her to make videos with you. She's like, yeah, but the videos are doing so good. I'm like, yeah, but you can't force it to make videos with you. So she'll be like, oh, your mom's being mean because she doesn't want to make videos with you. All right, bro, she just got out of work. Like, why are you going to ask my mom to make content with you when she just got out of work? It's like you working a 14-hour shift. And I'm like, bro, I don't care if you just worked a 14-hour shift. Come make a video with me. Yeah. Damn. Okay. So then... um. You have recently posted about some screenshots of a no caller ID. Are you uh, allegedly assuming that that was her, or what was that about? Because you right, remember, right posted now, it. the moment me and you start talking, I already got two unknown calls. Who else will be calling me? One yeah. time I answered, and I, I answered yesterday because they called me, and I'm like, I'm like, hello, and she said Junior, and I know her voice. She's like Junior, and I just hung up right away. Yeah. So you think maybe, so, huh? Is it, like, is it like a drunk call she's doing, or what do you think the call is about? Well, I don't know. Right now, I don't think it's a drunk call. I think she's calling me because she's probably like, hey, don't. She probably wants me to not say nothing about what's going on. Yeah. Because the thing about her is like, she's always been the type of girl, bro, that she doesn't like people hating her. She'll be like, no, is it, what are people going to say? What are people going to say? I'm like, bro, you make content for a living. Sometimes you can't really care what people say when you make certain content. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like if people hate you, like, come on, like for something that you do. You could either care about it or not care about it. But since you make them a content like about cheese miss, you yeah. can't really care what people say because that's going to like throw your game off and stuff. Yeah, true, true. So then let me ask that. This is the final question. I think we got basically everything down. Um, so would you would you ever get back with her? Or do you miss no, her? No, no. It, I, I, I can't go out with her bro, because she says so many lies. She supposedly said I put my hands on her when I never put my hands on her at all, dude. Yeah. And that's what pisses me off. But the reason she's saying that I put my hands on her is because after me and her dad got into an argument, like a, like a, like a fight and stuff, 
she told me, hey, if you ever tried to press charges on my family members, I'm going to tell people you put your hands on me so you go get in trouble. I'm like, what? I never even said I was going to do that to you guys. Yeah. I'm like, trust me, I'm not going to press charges. But I think she was scared because one of my brothers, he's a cop. So she's probably like, she's probably like, oh, he's going to tell him to press charges on my family. I'm like, dude, I'm not going to do it. Like, yeah. look, I'm not even going out with her. I haven't even pressed charges on her family. So why is she come? She doesn't want to own up that she cheated. Now automatically she's like, oh, he put his hands on me. I'm like, dude, what? Stop lying. Like, just be quiet, dude, because you know I didn't do that to you. But people will know, dude, once she goes on another relationship and they see como que it's not working out or something like that, and they're going to be like, oh, I guess she's the problem. Because obviously, like, how is it that she says that her ex-boyfriend did this to her? Now she's saying that I did that to her. Now her, imagine her next boyfriend's, oh, he did this to me too. I'm like, bro, there's no way guys could keep doing that to you and you're not walking away from it. Yeah. Damn. Okay. So what, what could we expect uh, moving forward from you then? Like now, is it, is it like something you guys are going to keep going back and forth about? Because you guys are basically shading one another every other day, you know? So what, what do you think moving forward? Bro, I'm going to just stop talking about it because the thing is kind of like, even if I try, look, if I make videos of, it doesn't... I, sometimes I make videos and it's not even about her and people are like, oh, he's talking about Carla, bro. He's talking. I'm like, no, bro, I'm not. I'm like just making a video. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then, uh, well, I don't know whatever screenshots you do want to provide, uh, later on chat, I'll, I'll probably react to it if he does provide anything uh, on Twitch. Uh, but that's basically everything that I do have. Uh, I mean, question wise, uh, is there anything that you want to say in any final statement or final comment? Bro, well, I, I just said my story. Everybody wanted to hear my story. Like, if people don't want to believe me, they don't have to believe me. But, like, she is going to end up exposing herself the more she keeps talking and the more she keeps doing stuff because she's just one of those people that just lies about everything, dude. So it's like, I'm like, dude, why do you have to lie to people? Just stop being like that. It's like, you make it seem like you lying. It's going to make people like you. So, like, I don't know. She just wants to just keep talking. I'm like, I'm like, bro, go ahead and keep talking. I'm going to just stop talking about her because it just seems like whatever I say, some some people believe me, some people don't. So I'm just like, all right, believe whatever you want, bro. But later on in the future, if it happens again, you guys will know, como que, okay, like, she's the problem and I'm not. I'm just over here just trying. I used to show her off all the time, bro. Like, I didn't care. I never let her do, I, I let her wear whatever she wants. I would show her off. That's yeah. the reason she kind of started blowing up because I will make memes of como my girl. I will be like, hey, this POV, this is your girlfriend when she gets out the club. Or, or and I'll be picking her up in my shoulder. I yeah. would show her off. So it's kind of like, I'm like, dude, like, I don't know. Like, yeah. she's going to end up exposing herself, bro. Like, because, like, she's just not ready to be in a relationship. Okay. All righty, then. Well, that's it that I got everything for today. I might just have it now. Well, not with you in it, but I might just have it now where I'm going to have some people kind of give come on here and give their opinions. If you want to watch, you don't have to. But I appreciate mm -hmm. you for coming on here. I am going to post the whole thing on YouTube as well if anybody missed it. But uh, I appreciate you for coming on here, Junior. Oh, yeah, bro. No problem. So if you guys made it this far, remember to follow me on Twitch where I do more exclusive cheesemen for you guys. If you guys love and appreciate me and want to see me a little bit more over on Twitch, Pancho does it better. Make sure to follow me. And I appreciate all you cheese mosas baby <laughs>